Everyone will want to hear about this health alert, especially parents and caregivers. A spike in hepatitis A. It's an infectious disease of the liver that could cause severe diarrhea, vomiting, and it could cause nausea. Since December, there have been 336 cases, with the number of cases spiking last month in the state of Florida. News for Jack's reporter Destiny McKeever spoke with an infectious disease specialist about the risks. Two restaurant workers in St. Petersburg recently tested positive for hepatitis A. It's a known fact that has people concerned all across Florida, a state where restaurant employees are not required to be vaccinated for the contagious disease. People working in restaurants, what do you think about that? They should observe sanitary conditions. They should always wash their hands and and keep themselves as clean as possible. Bill Truitt was one of dozens who didn't believe people should be allowed to work around food without a hepatitis A vaccination. We sat down with Dr. Mobin Rathor, an infectious disease specialist at UF Health. And Dr. Rathor says in order to prevent the spread of hepatitis A, he says children need to be vaccinated at an early age. But if you work in the food industry, he says proper hand washing is key. The reason it's better to give it to children because a lot of people get it when they are young. They may not even know they've gotten hepatitis A infection. We checked in with the Florida Department of Health since December 2017. There have been 336 cases of the disease with the number of cases spiking last month. Yeah, I would think that if it's a communicable disease and you can pass it on to the public, absolutely, people should be vaccinated for it. That should be a requirement. The symptoms of hepatitis A include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, jaundice, fever, and abdominal pain. It is usually spread by eating food or drinking water contaminated with infected feces. And fortunately, there have been no cases of hepatitis A reported here in Duval County within this year. But last year, we had one case reported. Doctors are recommending if you feel those symptoms for more than two weeks, go see your physician immediately. Reporting live from the Florida Health Department, I'm Destiny McKeever, Channel 4, The Local Station.